great to see you. Guess what? I have a friend. I want to introduce you to Cedric. Come here, Cedric. <laughs> Hi, it's me, crashing in like always. This is Cedric the Seagull, my best friend. She, I, I, I am her BFF. Best, best bird friend, friend forever. forever. Cedric, tell our friends just a little bit about yourself. I'm a seagull, and my favorite thing to do is to play backgammon. And boy, is he good at backgammon. <laughs> the best. I'm the world champion seagull backgammon player five years in a row. Can you believe it? Out of all the seagulls who are playing backgammon, the best. We became best buddies because we both love anchovies. I love anchovies in pasta. I love anchovies straight out the can, down my big mouth. That's right, he can eat anchovies all day long. Yeah, I saw her anchovies and I swooped in to grab some, as they say. <laughs> The rest is anchovies. It's true. And that was the start of our friendship. And we've been buddies ever since. Hey, Cedric, um, I was wondering, are you in the mood to have some worship time with me? Uh, I'm always in the mood. Let's hit it. All right, let's worship.
My dad and I went to the yard sale and found this super cool trunk. But it's locked. And there's no key. We bought the trunk without even knowing what was inside. My dad found this key that might work. Should we see if it works? Okay, well I'll say one, two, three, open please. Ready? One, two, three, open please. It worked. Now we have to open the lid. Everyone do a drum roll on your legs like this. Here we go. Wow, take a look. Shoes, there are all kinds of shoes. There are cowboy boots. Giddy up. Ooh, tap shoes. There are even shoes to wear before bed. I wonder what other kind of shoes are in here. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Finding some new shoes, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I think there are enough different shoes in this trunk for everyone. Everyone? That may be true. I know something else about everyone, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I got back a little late from my fishing trip, so I didn't have time to change my shoes before I had to deliver the mail. These are my super big fishing boots. Aren't they awesome? They keep my feet dry if I need to step in the water. Have you ever been fishing? It's really fun. And actually, I have a true story about Jesus and some fishermen. Do you want to hear it? Okay, great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with two fishermen named Peter and Andrew. They used a big net when they went fishing. Let's pretend we're fishermen and throw out a net. Ready, set, throw! Once the net's in the water, you wait for the fish. Look, we've got fish. Oh, oh and more fish, and more fish. It's time to pull up our net. Let's pretend to pull up our net. Ready, set, pull! 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 One more time. Pull! We did it. We went fishing, just like the fishermen did. So Peter and Andrew were fishermen, and they fished every day. Well, one day, Jesus came walking by. They knew who Jesus was. They knew he was special and was an amazing teacher. Jesus looked at them and said, come follow me. Wow, Jesus, God's son, wanted to be friends with the fishermen. He wanted them to follow him. Andrew and Peter were so excited that they left their nets and followed Jesus right away. Then Jesus saw two more fishermen named James and John in a boat fishing with their dad. Jesus said to them, come, follow me. Jesus wanted to be friends with them too. They were so happy. They got out of their boat and followed Jesus. These four fishermen, Peter, Andrew, James, and John followed Jesus and became some of his really good friends called disciples. Do you know what the best part is? Jesus wants to be friends with you too. Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. We can all follow him. That's amazing. Hey, Ollie, tell me, 
Who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus wants everyone to follow him, including me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus told lots of people to follow him. He wants to be friends with everyone always. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. I wonder what other kind of shoes I can find. These are fun. Bye, see you next time. Wow, that was great. Thanks, Ollie and friends. I know him, you know that? He's like my, my once cousin, twice removed, seventh sister's brother's uncle's auntie's mother's cousin's grandmother. Cedric, I had a slight feeling you might have known him. <laughs> yeah, all us birds know each other. <laughs> That is so... It's a small world for us. <laughs> Cedric, he has buddies all around the world. Anywho's, hey, Cedric, you know a lot. Do you know the big word? I sure do, Amy. Would you mind sharing oh. it with our friends? Oh, I would love to. You're ready? Ready. Okay, come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, dot, dot, 19. Shall I do it again? Yes, please. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, dot, dot, 19. Shall I do it again? No, that was great. Okay, what can I do next, Amy? This is so much fun! Cedric, you have been such a fun friend to have here with me. Um, guess what? There's what? someone I want you to meet. Who, who? Is it the Prince of England? It's not a prince. How about the Yeti? No, it's not a Yeti, Cedric. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Tell me, Amy. Tell me. It's our friend. His name is Mr. Phil. Ooh, is he a bird too? He's not a bird. Oh. He is a human. Ooh, a he has, human bird? He has lots of very... No, a human man. Oh. And he oh. has lots of little friends uh -huh. and a guitar. And he often is singing really lovely music and oh. telling fun stories. And well, it's time. Do they? Does he have any bird friends? He does, actually. Oh, oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. He's got so many friends. Okay, Ooh, okay. let's meet him, and this is how Ooh. we greet him. Okay. We say, hey, Mr. Phil. Hey, Ready? Mr. Phil. One, two, three. Hey, hey Mr. Mr. Phil. Phil. Oh, yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, a little louder. Okay. Hey, hey Mr. Phil. Phil. Perfect. Hey, Phil. hey, good morning, boys and girls. It's Mr. Phil here. Uh, yes, and Reginald too, and some of the other babies. And we were all just reading from the Bible this morning about how Jesus called his disciples, how he called uh, Simon Peter and Andrew and James, and how they were fishermen, and how Jesus asked them to cast their net into the ocean. So we like to actually play the games and, and play the Bible games and try to act them out. And so we found this net here. Show them the net, Reginald. We have this net. We're going to throw it in the ocean, like Jesus says, and see if we can catch some fish. Okay, go ahead, Reginald. You throw it in, all right? Okay, one, two, three, go. All right. Okay, Reginald, now you got to go get the net now, all right? Go drag it up. Okay, go get it. Good good job. Pull it up, Reginald. Pull it up. What, what, wait, what, did, you, what did you catch, Reginald? What is this? Oranges. You caught oranges? Okay, well, we could pretend they're fish, okay? <laughs> anyway, the whole point is that they obeyed what Jesus said. They did what he asked. If it be your will, we'll do it. And they caught so much fish, it ripped the nets, just like these oranges are kind of ripping our net too, okay? <laughs> so anyway, how about if we sing our song, and it's called Never Looking Back. And it's about how when Jesus calls us to follow him, we follow, and we can never regret it. We never need to go back. We can always, we always know that Jesus is going to lead us 
to a great place. So how about if we sing the song together, okay? Can you sit on Elmo's lap while we sing the song, Reginald? Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, Spider-Man, Green Gorilla. Yeah. Hello, Kitty, are you guys ready to sing? Okay, yes, you too, Elmo. All right, I know, I'm sorry Reginald is on your lap, but it's okay. He needs to be seen, okay? Here we go, it's called Never Looking Back. So good to see you this morning, too. Okay, one, two, three, four. should do when Jesus calls us. We drop things and follow him, okay? We follow him because he's a trustworthy leader. He's a good leader. So whenever you play follow the leader, let's follow Jesus first, okay? All right. Good job, babies. Good job, Reginald. Good job on our game. Yes, it was good to see you this morning. We hope you have a great rest of your day and a great weekend and then a great week. And we'll see you next week, okay? All right. Say bye, kids. Bye. Say bye. Say bye, Reginald. Say bye. Okay. Yep. Say bye, bye. Spider-Man. Okay. All right. See you. Bye. Wow. He is so cool. Mr. Phil is just the nicest. I told you. Yeah. Hey, you know, it's time for some announcements about how families can stay in touch with us at Kids at Cornerstone. Ooh, I got this. Okay, tell them. Okay, uh, kids, tell your parents to sign up on our newsletters, right? That's right, it's a newsletter 
And you can also join the Facebook page. Hello, Facebook. I have a face. Do you have a book? Yeah. Okay. Then we saw it. That's right. Now, friends, please. Yes. Cedric, let's close out with a prayer. Oh. You ready? Yes. Do you mind if I hold your wing? Please do. Okay. <sighs> Dear Jesus, we are so, so thankful and excited that all of us have a chance to be friends with you. We love you, Jesus. In your name, we pray. Amen. Amen. That was so fun. Ooh. Cedric, thank you so much for being here You're with welcome. me. You're welcome. Can I come next week? Yes, please. I hope so. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Bye, kids at Cornerstone. See you next time. Bye. I'll never forget one time we were arm wrestling. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. Cedric. Yes. Something happened, though. Who? Huh? Each time you were reciting the big word, yeah. your bill didn't move. <laughs> because I was using my telepathy powers, Amy. What did you say, Esteban? Don't hit Amy's mic. Okay, I won't hit her mic. How's this? Hey! <laughs> what if I hit her face instead? Can I do that? You know I don't mind because we're friends for life, but cut it out! Okay. <laughs> I don't have scissors.